I'll tell you a little bit of a story about myself. My great grandfather worked for a mining company. My grandfather worked for a mining company, so did my father. All three of my kids uh, are now working in mining, two engineers and one accountant. Why I'm telling you this is when my grandfather was working, he worked in the blacksmith shop, right? They built things, they had carpenter shops. Everything was built on, on site. We don't do that anymore. When my dad started in the mining industry, 50 ton, 75 ton trucks, that was kind of the biggest thing you saw. When I started, a 300 ton truck was big, you know, three, 400. That's not changing, right? You know, that's, that's a six fold increase. I don't think by the time my kids are, are 40, 50 years old, there's not gonna be 2,000 ton trucks rolling around out there, right? You're starting to hit physical limits. Now, somebody may come up with something. I've seen some 600 ton things coming out of Poland, somewhere like that, but, you know, 1,800 tons is, is getting a bit ridiculous. It's just not something you're likely to see. So how are we gonna make the improvements that we've seen from when my grandfather was working, when my dad was working, to what I've seen, which has been about you know, efficiencies in transport, moving things down the road, bigger pieces of equipment, so economies of scale. Now we're to a point where we've got to figure out how to do this thing more efficiently, more effectively. This is what this is about, right? Where's the data? How are we gonna get it? How are we gonna make decisions in real time, right? Right now we do a lot of backward looking things. Data from a week ago, data from a month ago. That's great. It helps you figure things out going forward, but it doesn't help you today. And there's lots of opportunities lost on a daily basis that if we had better data, better analytics immediately, we can make a much smarter decision right now. So AU Ops is about you know, freeing up this data, turning it into useful information, and letting the guys in the field, and again, this is where the decisions will be made. My guys work out there, I work out there, you know, the operators are all out there. That's where the decision is made because that's the best place to make the decision. If there is an upset condition or a significant issue, we can escalate from here. Yep, a supervisor can make that decision. You know, we can set dollar thresholds, uh, risk to life thresholds, all those different things. And we can escalate very quickly to, you know, superintendent, manager, general manager, CEO got to get all the way up to corporate because this one's really serious. That's what we can start to do with this sort of information and that's what we will start to do.